Rob Rabbit Pitts dies, Netflix's Tex-Mex Motors star was 45 Rob the Rabbit Pitts star of Netflix's Tex-Mex Motors has died. He was 45. Pitts died on Sunday, August 25th, from stomach cancer, his videographer Jeff confirmed. The car expert left a final message in a YouTube video titled, This is Goodbye, RIP July 27th 79 to August 25th 24. Watch it below. I started feeling off after SEMA, a car show in Las Vegas last year, and I was losing weight, Pitts explains in the video with Jacob Lincoln's Too Late Playing, but I was getting ready to film season two of Tex-Mex Motors for Netflix and wanted to be camera ready, so I didn't mind that so much. Pitts explained that during the filming of the Netflix series, he started to lose his appetite and had more and more acid reflux-like symptoms. He said he went to urgent care several times, but didn't get to the root of the problem. Pitts' castmate Jamie took him to the ER, believing it was a gallbladder issue, and this was when he found out in March that he had stomach cancer. The Netflix personality said he had been getting treatment at home, and it's been rough, adding, more bad days than good, but hanging in there. I have a lot to live for, and life has been going my way. Don't be sad for me. I accomplished my dream of buying my own store, finishing season two of Tex-Mex Motors, and marrying the love of my life. Tex-Mex Motors premiered on Netflix in June 2023. The show followed Pitts and Marcos Scooter Carrera as they looked for vintage cars in Mexico and restored them in their El Paso, Texas shop. Carrera paid tribute to Pitts in an Instagram post. It's with a heavy heart that I write about the passing of my cast member and friend Rob Rabbit Pitts. Rest in peace, brother. I'm going to really miss you. Sid Vicious dies. Pro wrestler whose career ended with a gruesome televised injury was 63 pro wrestler Sid Vicious, a star at the height of the WrestleMania era of the early 1990s whose career ended with a horrific and televised leg injury, has died after battling cancer for several years. He was 63. His death was announced on social media by son Gunnar Yudi. He was a man of strength, kindness, and love, and his presence will be greatly missed, Gunnar Yudi wrote about Vicious, who also went by the ring names Lord Humongous, Vicious Warrior, Sid Justice and Psycho Sid, but was born Sidney Raymond Yudi on December 6, 1960. Taking his most enduring ring name from the doomed punk rocker and Sex Pistols bassist who died in 1979, Yudi began wrestling in 1987, rising to national prominence two years later when he joined World Championship Wrestling. Moving over to the WWE in 1991 as Sid Justice, Yudi entered into a notorious feud with Hogan a year later. In the early to mid-1990s, Yudi was among the headliners for the popular WrestleMania events, winning various world championships for both the WWE and WCW. Yudi also took part in 1997 on Monday Night Raw. Yudi's grappling career came to a stomach-churning end in what remains one of the ghastliest moments in televised wrestling history. During a pay-per-view match in January 2001, Yudi jumped off a turnbuckle and landed badly. His left leg legs snapped and dangling at a grotesque angle, bones poking through his skin. Decades later, Yudi would remember the life-changing injury in a TV interview, saying that he was still recuperating from a shoulder injury when he was convinced by a WCW executive to return and perform the rope jump. Although Yudi agreed to the return, the stunt, he said, was something I didn't want to do and I wasn't comfortable doing. 